Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do reflections on the coordinate grid. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when reflecting on the coordinate grid. The first is that a reflection is a mirror image of a figure. But when you do a reflection, it's going to create the same image in reverse across the axis that you reflect over. You can reflect over the x-axis or the y-axis. And the x-axis is the horizontal axis. So just to give you an example, I'm going to draw a triangle here. And this is going to be reflected across the x-axis. So this triangle, when it's reflected, is going to create a mirror image across the axis on the other side. And the same goes for the y-axis, except the y-axis is the vertical axis. So I can go ahead and draw another triangle to give you an example. And the vertical axis here is the y-axis. And this can be reflected across that axis as well. And it will create a mirror image on the other side of the axis. And these reflections can go in both directions. So it can go from top to bottom, bottom to top, or right to left and left to right. The next thing is that when reflecting over the x-axis, you change the sign on the y coordinates. So when you're reflecting across the horizontal axis, the y coordinate in your x and y coordinate is going to change. So your x coordinate will stay the same and the sign on the y coordinate will change. So if this y is positive, it'll become negative. If the y is negative, it'll become positive. And that's when you're reflecting across the x axis. When you're reflecting over the y axis, you change the sign on the x coordinate. So for your x and y coordinates in your image, the x coordinate will change signs and the y coordinate will stay the same. If you reflect across the y axis, the y coordinate stays the same and then the x will change. If x is positive, it'll become negative. If x is negative, it'll become positive. An easy trick for remembering the rule is that whatever axis you reflect over, that coordinate will remain the same. So if you reflect across the x-axis, the x-coordinate remains the same. If you reflect across the y-axis, the y-coordinate remains the same. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started on some practice problems. We have our first practice problem here that says to reflect over the x-axis. Now the x-axis is the horizontal axis, so I'm gonna label x-axis here. You can see that we already have our figure, A, B, C, D, drawn on the coordinate grid, and we have our x and y coordinates listed over here on the left. Now we're reflecting over the x-axis, which means this figure is going to move across the horizontal line, so it's gonna flip down. For reflecting over the x-axis is that you will keep the x values the same in your x and y coordinates, and you will change the sign on the y values. And this is for getting the coordinates of your new shape after the reflection. We already have A, B, C, D listed here. We need to find A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. And in order to get those points, you're going to follow the rule for reflecting over the x-axis. So we're going to keep the x value the same. So you can see A is 2, 7. So this x coordinate will stay 2. And then we need to change the sign on the y coordinate. So this 7 now will become a negative 7. So this 7 is positive, And because we have to change the sign on the y coordinate, it's going to become negative 7. B prime follows the same pattern. So we know the x coordinate stays the same, so it's going to stay 7. And this positive 7 will become negative 7 now. For C prime, the x coordinate 7 stays the same, and the y coordinate switches from positive 4 to negative 4. And for D prime, our x coordinate stays the same of 2, and the y coordinate goes from positive 4 to negative 4. Now that I know the coordinates of the vertices of the shape after it's been reflected, I can go ahead and graph these. We know a prime is 2, negative 7. So I'm going to graph 2, negative 7, and I'm going to label this a prime. And b prime is 7, negative 7. So I'm going to go to 7 and then down to negative 7. And this is going to be b prime. And c prime is 7, negative 4. I'm going to label that c prime. And then d prime is 2, negative 4. And here's d prime. Now that I have the vertices on the grid, I'm going to go ahead and connect them. And now you can see that our shape has been reflected across the x-axis. To get these points, we just follow the rule when reflecting over the x-axis where you keep the x-coordinate the same and you change the sign on the y-coordinate. 
Moving on to number two, number two asks us to reflect over the y axis, which is the vertical axis. You can see our original figure has already been drawn, ABC, and it's going to reflect over the y axis, so it's going to move this way. We have our points A, B, and C here. We have to follow the rule for reflecting over the y axis to find the points of our new shape. We know the rule is to take our original points and we're going to change them by making the sign on the x change and keeping the sign on the y value the same. So for a prime, we're gonna change the sign on the x and because x is negative nine, it now becomes positive nine, but the y value will remain the same, so it's gonna stay negative two. For b prime, we're gonna change the sign on the x value and the sign on the x value is negative five, so it's gonna become a positive five, and the y is negative two, so it stays negative two. And then for c prime, we have negative five again, that has to become positive five for the x because we're changing the sign on the x coordinate. And then the y will stay the same at negative nine. And now that I have my new coordinates, and now that I have the coordinates for my new figure, I can go ahead and graph them. So a prime is nine, negative two. And I'm gonna label this a prime. B prime is five, negative two. C prime is five, negative nine. And I'm gonna go ahead and label that c prime. Now that I have my vertices, I can go ahead and connect them you can see that it's created a mirror image where the y-axis is directly in the middle and it's acting almost like a mirror between the two figures. And finally, we're going to move on to our last practice problem. This problem says to reflect over the x-axis. Now the x-axis again is the horizontal axis, which means that our figure is going to move from the first quadrant down to the fourth quadrant. So it's going to move this way. Now, when reflecting over the x-axis, we already know the rule for the coordinates is to keep the x value the same and change the sign on the y value. So we have our coordinates here, a, b, c, and d, and we're going to find a prime, b prime, c prime, and d prime. So a prime, we're going to keep the x the same and then change the sign on the y. So the y is positive, so it becomes negative. So it's going to be negative 4. For b prime, we keep the x the same and change the y from positive 6 to negative 6. For c prime, we keep the x the same, change the y from positive 4 to negative 4. And d prime, we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be positive 6, negative 2. And now that I have the coordinates for the new shape after the reflection, I can go ahead and graph. I know a prime is 3, negative 4. I'm going to put my dot and I'm going to label it a prime. b prime is 6, negative 6. So I'm going to put my dot and label it b prime. C prime is nine, negative four. I'm gonna label that C prime. And finally, D prime is six, negative two. Now that I've graphed all my vertices, I can go ahead and connect them. You can see that this figure has been reflected across the x-axis, and it's a mirror image of the original. And if you wanna do some more practice on reflecting on the coordinate grid, go ahead and click the link in the top right part of this video, and you'll be taken to a free worksheet download and a free interactive quiz that will grade itself and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!